Today we're going to talk about the submachine gun upgrades. This gun is an American icon, so let's see what we can do to modify it. First on the list is the receiver. A armor piercing receiver has improved armor penetration and range. A hardened receiver has better damage. A rapid receiver has superior rate of fire, but requires a gun nut rank of 2. A hardened piercing receiver has better damage, improved armor penetration and range, and a powerful receiver has superior damage. Next on the list is the barrel. As you can see, it only has one modification, and that's the short life barrel for improved hip fire accuracy. Next is the stock. We have the full stock, which has better recoil but requires a gun nut rank of 1. Second is the recoil compensating stock, which has exceptional recoil control but requires a gun nut rank of 2. Here we have the magazine. We have a large drum, which has superior ammo capacity and inferior reload speed. Medium quick eject drum, which has better reload speed but requires a gun nut rank of 1. And a large quick eject drum with superior ammo capacity, improved reload speed but requires a gun nut rank of 2. For sights, we have glow sights, which has improved focus and better sighted accuracy. Reflex sight, which has better focus and sighted accuracy also. And last on the list is the muzzle. We have a compensator which has improved per shot recoil, improved recoil control and reduced range, but requires a gun nut rank of 1. A muzzle brake, with exceptional recoil control, better shot recoil, and inferior range, but requires a gun at rank 1 also. And the suppressor. Suppresses sound from firing, exceptional per shot recoil, improved recoil control, but has poor range. Requires a gun at rank of 2. And finally we end this video with the modded 100 round Tommy gun. Tommy wants his money. You know how nice it is to shoot without actually having to reload. This is nice. <laughs> See you guys later, man.